The fuck up part about it is when you lay on your rent, you lose your privileges and shit. Now they know that. You know, the other day I'm swimming in my pool, right? I come up out my pool, my landlord hanging over the edge of the pool, like, get your ass out the pool, nigga. It's the 12th. We ain't heard from you. The other day the landlord came and showed my apartment to another motherfucker while I was still in the apartment. <laughs> but this the kitchen. This the living room, never mind that homeless motherfucker. He got me in. I took a chick home from the club. We did whatever, 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 whatever. She get up on the bathroom. I hear her yelling from the bathroom. Talking, uh, 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 hold on. You ain't got no shower shoes. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> After all the shit we just did, you talking some shower shoes, bitch? Got my own car. It's paid for. Got my own car. It's paid for. It's a 92 Intrepid. It fucking should be paid for by now. <laughs> Calm down. You know what I'm saying? Calm down. That's how I go into the club, but that was a rule is because you reach a point in your life when you figure out, fuck, I'm too old for the club. I'm trying to get in the club. I try to show my ID, my fucking Costco card fall out. Listen. <laughs> if you got a Costco card, you shouldn't even be in the fucking club. You ass for this. Like, yeah, if you got a Costco card, you fuck on out of there. You know? Try Facebook and shit, got banned on that shit real quick. Got banned on Facebook, got reported for abuse, Blondie. But listen, I sent a couple pictures of my dick, but wait. Wait, 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 wait. The fucked up part about it, now I'm on probation. Every picture that I post, got to go to a third party. They got to review the shit. Got a fucking Facebook restraining order. Ain't that childish? <laughs> Now I can't be within a hundred friends of this bitch. <laughs> bitch, really? I left the house to get a mile down the road. I left. She like, oh shit! I left my phone, baby. Fuck it, we'll just use yours. <laughs> Bullshit. We turn around and get this one. <laughs> and then too, you know, when you're in a relationship, you know, I found out. I found out that you can find out who you are in a relationship. By what your name is saved under under the phone in a phone, right? You know, and my ego up and shit. I'm like, yo, I got my girl, I know, so I put, I, you know, I test it. I call her phone, I pick it up. You know, I look at it, and it's, it, it look at it, it's a this nigga. I'm like this nigga. This nigga. Fuck me up. They don't be having no job. They be homeless. Man, they be in there like, bitch, what you gonna do? I gotta ride. What you gonna do? I'm this nigga talking about hooking up. We, how you gonna get home? Bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of shit that happened to me has come from a big brother. Like, he got me in more fucked up situations that I never got in my life. I think back, man, over the time, me and my brother, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Me and my brother, we got in this fight. We got in this fight with two other brothers, right? But the fight was so crazy that he was way over there, I was way over here. Somehow or another, we make it out the fight. Now, with my fight, I don't know what happened with his fight. My fight, I really, I really didn't win the fight. You know what I'm saying? I knew that. But he didn't know that shit. And I'm like, you know what? I knew I didn't want no more problems with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, it's over. But I didn't tell him that shit. So one day we walked home from school, and we see the nigga going in his house. So my brother all amped up, like, you about to fuck him up again. You about to go fuck him up again. You about to go fuck him up again. Right now. And I'm in my whole mind thinking, like, man, I should've told this nigga, like, I don't want no problems with this nigga, man. But he's super amped, like, we're not going for that shit, you about to fuck him up. And I'm just like, man. So the nigga goes, he goes on in the house, he's like, you know what you gonna do? You gonna go knock on his door, as soon as he up, open the door, you gonna be like, come out, I'm about to fuck your shit up. And I'm like, all right, you know, I ain't gonna believe in none of this shit, right? And I say, fuck you, you know, I get to walking up to the motherfucking port. I, I look back and shit, you know. I knock on the door and shit. I'm like, fuck, he opened the door. I'm like, come outside. I'm about to fuck your shit up. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was like, all right, let me get my shoes. 